It can happen to the best of us. You're out, you run out of water, you go to light a fire and you can't for some reason. Your match didn't light, the wind blew it out, everything's too wet. There's a lot of reasons you might not be able to start a fire. Thankfully, we're surrounded by man's greatest and worst creation ever, plastic. And uh, we are truly surrounded by it. You can find glass and plastic bottles anywhere near where there's a stream, river, ocean, or any form of flowing body of water. You will find plastic. You don't even have to be near water for you to find plastic. So the way that it works is the bottle allows UVA sunlight to permeate through and basically sunburn all the pathogens. It kills all bacteria, virus, and parasites up to and including Cryptosporidium and Giardia. However, there's a couple things that you need to know in order for this to work correctly. The first thing is that it needs a lot of sunlight, direct sunlight. So not this. What we need is an open field, open area. The other thing to note is that it can't just be any old bottle. It's got to be a clear glass bottle or a clear plastic bottle. Now, it can't just be any clear bottle. It can't be scratched up and marred, and it has to be a certain form of material. So if it's plastic, it has got to be a polyurethane bottle. I can't pronounce the second word in that sequence, but it's called PET. Now, it will only work in strong, direct sunlight for six consecutive hours. If it's too cloudy, it won't work. If it's under too much shade, it won't work. So you have to find yourself somewhere that's open and get gets a solid six hours of sunlight in a day. Down here is not going to work. Any old field's going to work. If you're in a marsh that's got an open area, that'll work. If you're at your home or in some other location during a massive blackout work, clean water is no longer available. Your rooftop will work, your yard will work, as long as it doesn't get too much shade. Now the only form of contaminated water that this will not work on is anything that is chemically contaminated. This works on all biological life forms, but not chemical. If it's chemical, you're going to have to use some, other, some form of filter to remove the chemicals. Furthermore, the water cannot be too turbid. It's got to be somewhat clear. So let's talk about that for a moment. Now this right here is going to be way too muddy and way too cloudy for the UVA rays to permeate through the water entirely and sanitize the water. We need clearer water than this. Let's find a stream. Now we can find these bottles like this pretty easily all over the place. That's no question. So we got one. We got the stream right here. This stream looks much better. It's a lot clearer than our mud puddle was. Alright, so we got some water here. Now, I know this is clean enough. This doesn't need to be filtered. But the way that you can tell is if you have a newspaper and you take a bottle of water and you look down the neck into the newspaper, if you can read the headline, it's clear enough. But if you can't, then it's now obviously you're not going to have a newspaper out in the bush. So it's best to familiarize with yourself with this method before you have to use it. So, experiment with it, collect some water, leave it out in the sun. You don't have to drink it, but just familiarize yourself with how it works, as you should with any of these techniques. Now with that said, leave it out for six hours in direct sunlight, come back, your water's ready to go. You can use your bottle over and over again, it's not going to leach chemicals in, and if it does, it's negligible, but it's a survival case. Not an everyday life case, but this method is used in third world countries across the ocean as a normal means of sanitizing water. Alright guys, well it's been six hours in this field, we got our bottle here. Mmm, hot water, my favorite. Alright, well with that said, this is safe. It's a consistent way that you can get clean drinking water that is safe. A few points to remember, or a few points to note, will not work if it's super cloudy, will not work without the sun and six hours of consecutive light, will not work with chemically contaminated water, and it will not work with colored or marred or otherwise degraded containers. Another thing to note, any container over three liters, this won't work for it either. Alright guys, so 
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you all in my next video. If you haven't already, hit that bell icon down below. You'll get notified every time I upload a new video. I'll see you all in my next one.